Okay guys, welcome back. Yes, I've been busy. Um, time wise, a lot of it's just been doing with uh, drone times. Um, leaving like a day, two days between each coat of paint. So I'm at the stage now where everything's been clear coated. And um, basically I'm at the stage where I'm about to finish off that one there with a bit of, uh, and that one there with a bit of uh, weathering. I'll show you guys how I did that on the deck. Now the deck, whoa. Now I like the way that turned out. It turned out really nice, and I'm about to show you how I did that. Alright guys, let's get into it. Okay. It's been really strange weather here in um, Queensland. Um, it's supposed to be winter time. We've had last three days, 26, 27 degrees. It's been crazy. Um, so yeah, now, now all these parts have been coated in Tamiya Clear, full gloss. Um, even the, <laughs> uh, big boo-boo, yes, I was having so much fun letting it float around in my little tub that literally don't know what happened. I don't think my, uh, clear coat I did on, on the red, uh, was strong enough or thick enough. It literally stripped off. Well, it didn't strip, it faded the red. So I had to remask and repaint the whole red. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Had a bit of trouble, bit of bleed here and there. I literally, but anyway, it's all fixed. Um, interior, it's all been glossed out and basically I'm gonna use Tamiya Paneline Brown. And shake, shake, shake. And this is where the fun begins. Now, I'm just going to put that in there, just wash it in. Now, I'm just going to move these parts out of the road before I do things to that that I really don't want to. Um, I've been, all the white, I've been using Mr. Surfacer 1000. I am a converted person when it comes to um, Mr. Surfacer. Um, uh, it's it's just a fantastic product. I, can, I cannot fault it at all. It does everything. As long as you have the right thinners. <laughs> yes. Learned that mistake, but you know, you get that. Give that a good wash. Really soak it in. I want the timber to need a little bit more of a shape. bit along the back here, not that you're going to see it, it's on the white, doesn't matter. It's going to have more on that on the, in a minute. Alright, okay, now, I'm going to let that sit for a little while. Lovely, now, I'm going to let that sit for a while before we even I might not even try and remove any of that. That's just turned out really, really nicely. So I'm going to put that aside. All right, next we're going to do the same with this part here. Now, that's about all I need for that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my little paintbrush and with Tamiya enamel thinners. The blue stuff, so I've learnt my lesson there. A little bit dab with a clean brush. Remove excess and spread it around. Alright, and that is done. Too easy, actually. Might, might put a little bit more because I'm looking at my deck. Where's my deck? What do I do with it? I don't, know. don't know what I do. Oh, there it is. I oh, know it's about right. A little bit more. There you go. A bit more. There you go. 
spread that around. I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to put some, I don't know, I'm not liking that one. I think I'm taking up too much. So easy the other day. Oh, here we go. That's what I was after. Wonderful. All right, leave that alone. Now, I uh, hope you can't hear that, but my son's screaming in his computer room. We are in lockdown right now, and uh, school is closed. Everything's closed. So, um, yeah, kids are at home screaming and yelling. It's wonderful. But, yeah. Alright, just apply it here. Try not to get it on a white. Lovely. Put some in the middle. Alright, nice, gentle, beautiful. Love, look at that. And I'm not going to touch that because that's just exactly how I wanted it. Back to the other piece. Spread it around. Yep, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think I took it off too soon. And I think I've got a bit of dog hair on that. My poor girl, my little puppy dog. I can't say puppy dog, she's about 13 years old now. Um, she got burnt at the vet. Yeah, won't go into that. I think I mentioned it before, but um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't pretty. She's recovering. Um, so, yeah, now there's a bit of that's come up, uh, the panel line, I, I can remove that with this, but having said that, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove it later on. Won't let that dry. All right, now, while all that was going on, I painted the sails, and I did that with uh, Mr. Surfacer 1000. All my white is done with Mr. Surfacer 1000 right now. And, oh, gee, they turned out nice. Poor, oh, gee, they turned out nice. Now, I'm going to do the same with this. Now, this has been given a coat of top clear, of um, Tamiya clear. And I'm going to use the Tamiya panel line, and I'm going to... See if it's working. All right. I'm going to put a couple of drops here and there. Most of this is going to be removed. All right, but I just want the sails to look a bit grimy. It's not to freak out here because it's a bit darker than what I wanted. <laughs> but I just know that with a bit of cotton buds and stuff and whatnot, you know what, I'm going to use a bigger paintbrush. Now I'm just going to go it all out, get it all on there, there we go, okay, look at that, look at the detail, fucking brilliant, alright, get it on everywhere, on the edges, now I spent hours on these sails, um, I painted them white originally with um, Tamiya uh, white and um, they were had heaps of flashing on them, so I spent quite a few hours cleaning them up. All right, All right I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do both sides. Okay, the sails have been given a good coverage. As you can see, I'm going to let that set for a little while, just a little bit there. Why is that so? What am I doing with my paintbrush? Oh, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to let that set. Now, masks have been painted. 
and I've got to do a couple of touch-ups here and there. Let me use Mr. Surfacer again on this. Um, I've had so many problems with this. Such a simple little model, and um, I managed to stuff it up. But you get that. Um, there, I don't know. Got one of these. I think, no, it's not that one. Which one's the tallest out of these two? Doesn't matter. But one of these I broke in half. Uh, I was, yeah, I was trying to fix. I was so busy looking at that level there, all right, and I forgot to check that level there, all right, especially on the ship, and I had to, Mr. Um, what do you call it? Um, where is it? Here we go. All over and let it soak and. You know, I was impatient, pulled it, broke it, but I made one of Ron's jigs, put it together and bingo, waited a couple of days and she was fine. But I got a lot of touching up to do and I've got to give these a gloss coat as well uh, before I can do any weathering on those. So there goes at least another three or four days waiting um, for them to dry. Uh, where are those? Those, yes. These, um, a lot of work, well, not a lot of work, but a lot of cleaning, um, getting the edges off. Uh, I didn't want to come off the sprinkles, I just wanted to make it easier for myself for painting. But that was using um, AK Black, uh, the Australian Black. And uh, I'm a converted person when it comes to um, these colors now. Um, I like these, this product, AK Colors, uh, uh, what is it? I can't think of it the name, not acrylic, not enamel, but and I'll think of it in a minute, all right? But anyway, this has been left open, not good. Right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of weathering along the, um, the ship. Now, um, I'm gonna use black. I'm gonna use black, I'm gonna use black. All right, so. Shake, shake, shake. And try and go sparingly with this. Because I just basically want. These details to pop. Yes, wonderful. All right. Smickers when it's finished. Alright, go around in the black. Do it all. Most of this will be removed with the thinners, so I've just got the lines been there showing. So that should turn out really straight away already. Yeah. Oh, ballast have changed. Yeah, when I did the coating, um, the um, the painting, and I put it in the water, it was sitting way too deep. So I had to pull out the bolt, and I put rocks in there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time here. Hang on, I'm gonna do my trick that I've been doing. Get in there. That's it. No, no, don't you dare. No. Thank you. Well, like I said, this has been clear glossed. So a lot of this will come off. Now the rigging part I'll probably have to once I've removed what I want off the white I'm probably going to have to redo the buckles and all that again because 
I'll be taking off the surface, the top surface, and it'll be all con, which is not really what I want. But I want to give this like a used whaler look. I'm actually still thinking about painting uh, the, the front mask at the top red. Um, looks pretty different and why not? Alright, get that all over it and make sure it's all nice and even, I believe. And while we're at it, once again, swap paintbrushes. Just, just, just. Lather it on. Oh, look at that. Nice black. Oh. I said most of this, you'll be surprised. I mean, there'll be a few hours of cotton buds. A lot of this will be removed with the um, paintbrush. Just. But. Yeah, alright. Okay. Just use it for the whole lot in the first place. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, that looks really scary. Alright. Let that sit for a little while. Okay. Okay guys, it's only been about 15 minutes since I lathered all that on and I've sort of got to where I'm, I'm enjoying what I've got now. I've been using, I've got a bit of thinness down here on my timber and I just go in there and put in the places where I don't want the black and you see it's like getting blacker and blacker but as soon as you get a cotton bud, give it a bit of a rub. Give it some love, you know, plenty of love. There we go. Now the red is pretty much where I want it to be. All right, and so I've gone from that to that. Part of my, uh, call it. <laughs> yes, my rocks are falling out. <laughs> I'm losing my rocks. All right, so I'll probably work on that a little bit more, but I just want to show you like, Especially the likes of Ron that don't like doing weathering and find it a little bit daunting. Um, when you've got the right stuff, it's not so bad. I mean, like, I'm just lathering on the, the, the enamel thinners right now. Like, I'm just whacking it on. Whacking it on. It's nice. Get it on there. That's it. And initially, I'll just get a bit of... And I'll just give it a wipe. There we go. Give it a wipe. Don't rub too hard. But give it a wipe. All right. There you go. And then with the cotton bud, you just those white areas. Give them a good scrub. There you go. Lacquer. <laughs> That's the word, the thinnest I was looking for before. Lacquer. Yes, lacquer with AK paints. Alright, and about there's pretty much there. I'm probably going to have to remove a lot more off the red. But. Do it evenly. Brush. Now I haven't got much thinners on this, it's like... You can see like it's coming off. I don't really want it to come off like that. Just bring it down. Once again. There we go. 
I think they came off peeps off the back for some reason. But you can see, like, we're nearly there. Might have to put some oh, you know yes. Now I'm not really worried about the red underneath right now because once this model is finished, I'm gonna have a go at making a little diorama with it going through the ocean. Alright, okay. And I'm happy with that. There you go, done. Didn't take long at all. A couple of minutes. We've got nice detail there now, and all pops up. Um, the rails, just give them a bit of a white with the thinners. There's my little stubby paintbrush. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I've learned, I spilled a jar of paint the other, oh, not the other day, quite a while ago. Do you think I would have learnt my lesson? No. Close your lids, gentlemen. There we go. Let me give that a bit of a wipe. There we go. Beautiful. Brush. I got this little stubby, stubby brush. And it's really good for this application as far as it gets into Set it back to nice and white. The interior where I put the there in there, that's all dried up now, and I'm not going to even bother touching that. That looks really nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Also, a bit more on the on the on the rear. Make it even. Um, that I bought for the APC. Oh, yeah, the APC. Yeah, if you're wondering about that, decals are on. Yes, finally we got them. Uh, that was a major hassle. Um, they sent us decals for a. Um, Abram, no, Abram, Centurion Australian tank, um, and I was just totally, totally wrong. Uh, got in touch with the guy, uh, worked out he lived in Bishmere, which is like literally around the corner from us, like it's in Brisbane. So, um, there we go. Look at that, sent like straight away. Okay guys, uh, yes, I'm happy with that, um, both sides, little sales are done, now what we're going to be doing once they're dry um, is working with those, um, you think I would have got them, hang on a minute. We are going to use that colour there on the sails now. Yeah, it's dry. I just want to give the sails a bit of a yellow look. I don't think it's quite dry enough. I'm going to leave it wait. Dry for another hour or so before I put that's That's the colour I'm sort of looking for like that. Alright. Alright. I'm going to go to some shopping and I'll see you guys later.